Welcome to Bad. Why? He was a stone collector. He had to go and pick up a belt there. Go over here and pick up a belt there. He lost a, a, a point where he lost to get this belt, but he came back to the table, stopped the guy. He came up, had a controversial decision right here, had a draw, came back, stopped the guy. He became Thanos. He always spoke his mind. He went through he went through the black YouTube boxing community boycotting him right before Undisputed. Yeah, I was around. They was boycotting him because of his comments on another boxer, one of his peers. He was boycotted. Now everybody getting back on the hype. Everybody getting back on the train. Everybody's getting back on the train. But guess what? We don't see all them videos. Guess when we see a video? When somebody else says his name, like Bud. You know, one of these other guys that want to be a challenger, when they say his name and they have to get a reaction, that's the only time we see a video. But if belts really mattered, we wouldn't be arguing as to why Jamel Charlo should be number one or number two on the pound for pound list. We wouldn't be arguing. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have had to argue as to why Canelo Alvarez should still be number one after losing. In the same conversations in which we were arguing that Jamel Charlo should be even on the list. It's not about the skills no more. It's about popularity. Whether Canelo should still be on the list, uh, that's debatable. Can you find 10 other people better? I believe that's debatable. Because think about it. If in a way don't get no credit for going up three divisions just now and becoming undisputed in his third division, beating a legend in Nonito Donaire, like stopping him. If he don't get no credit, but then, triple, then, then Canelo, he go down and fight in a trilogy and he don't stop him. Devin go back on a on a rubber match where you know he basically out jab Kambosis. He don't stop him. People have them two solidified on the top ten pound for pound list, and we still argue whether or not Jamel Charlo should be on the list. Make it make sense? It don't make any. It don't make any. It's just like we having conversations right now. Because I, I remember when Caleb Plant had his one belt. He had his one belt. Everybody was on his neck. He wanted 10 million. They go, oh man, you ain't worth. Who was he fought? Who was he? All this. Uh, he had a belt that was on his neck. Ginger walked away from the table. Ginger walked away from the table and then came back. Caleb didn't panic. He talked his noise. They got in, they did their thing. The results was the results, but he came on in. He came on in. Paul Butler. He had just won that belt back in like April or May. He just won the belt. December, we just got the NOA fight. Undisputed, easy peasy. He came on in. When Castano went up against Teixeira, months later, we got he came on in with Jamel Charlo having the rest of the belt. They fought. They had to go back to the drawing table because of the draw. They fought again. But here we have Earl Spence. <laughs> we got Earl Spence with three of them belts. And I hear more talk about him ducking, him not wanting to fight. When you get in the ring, because that's etiquette, you get in the ring, you say who you want next, you send a contract, they leave. And now we're giving the bigger bag excuse. We're giving the bigger bag. He did it for a bigger bag. Okay, that's a slippery slope too. It's a trend. It's a trend. That's the same excuse that Canelo did when they offered him Benavidez and Charlo or uh, Benavidez and Maul 
or Earl Spence. That big deal. And he was like, nah, went back to the zone and got the Bilbao Triple G. Because he thought Bilbao was a cherry pick. Whole nother story. But that was the bigger bag was the excuse then because they had to sweeten the deal with a third fight to make that number bigger than what PBC was pretty much giving him to fight Benavidez and Maul. Think about it. That was the excuse that was used. That was the trend that was set. So, Bud, he in this situation, I want a bigger bag. We give him that excuse. Now, guess what? Ramirez is saying he needs a bigger bag to fight Regis Prograde. Him as a Pato was supposed to fight, but he had to wait. Now, understand, life happens. You're a boxer. Of course. Get it on with your love, but... You was supposed to fight as a payday. That didn't happen. So then it moved to where Regis got the belt. They giving you opportunity. And you saying, I need a bigger bag. Who am I to say about the bag you need? But it's a slippery slope when we start giving that excuse of the bigger bag. Where does it stop? 